<laughs> oh, and it's set in a boxing ring. Um, I do it in a boxing ring with no clothes on, and I get dressed throughout it. But the boxing ring is made of barbed wire, just to give an idea. And I'll just do a few bits of it. Some girls fall from sunlit skies straight down into flat pack floral dresses, grab their smiles from a hook behind the door, rescue their faces from riptides of mirrors. Some girls are always falling. Round one. You fall and miss your body entirely. Land somewhere in enemy territory behind the lines. Your body a foreign country you cannot get a visa for. Your skin a parachute caught in tree branches. You awaken in no man's land. Gunfire from over the horizon and women are crucified on hashtags across the dark hills. Your trench is crowded with dead women wearing faces that try to escape them and the clothes of someone you once knew. There are landmines buried deep beneath your skin and no one understands them. In between the battle cry and the bedroom is this sticky quiet, this no man's land and this is where you live. Men explode when you least expect it. You will spend a lifetime searching for your body. Round two. You don't wear makeup to prove you have not made anything up. This is your face. Your father's friends gave it to you. One Christmas Eve, 1973, you unwrapped it beneath a decorated tree from which the rest of your family hung. They sipped cocktails as you slowly disappeared, swaying gently to that wail of celebration, that harbinger of party. You cut your first suit from the thick silence when you enter a room. They call you Butch. The name derived from Butch Cassidy's true story. <laughs> you are the descendant of outlaws. Outlaws. You are irony incarnate, woman butchered, cut into select meats, middle distance stare, breast, shoulder, wild tongue. They fear you. Boy, bois, dyke, Diesel female sodomite, lady faggot bull dyke, bull dagger queer pervert, gold star silverback stud, invert kiki she male drag drone, baby butch tomboy, stone. But if you are a stone, you are a chip off the mountain, and you join an avalanche of wrong walking women shaven heads like tumbling rocks. You keep them close, they are rosary. On the dance floor, we are tidal, heckle the night, passing nods between us and handshakes that stop our hands shaking. We are untamed, a wilderness of women. We are waste ground, what a waste, love. Nothing grows on us, barren and sterile and unuseful female, empty as church pews. The wind rattles its fists inside our wounds. Come on then, snake boy. Come now, heretic healer, where are the masks that solve us? How do we fit into your algae bra, your binary code? Our bodies are political placards, and we dance as demonstration that you do not own us. We are revolution in the living room, uprising in the public toilets, insurgency in the suburbs, Fear us, I told you to. Not camp enough to be your best friend, love. The closet is full of clothes that we refuse to wear. Not funny enough for your talk show, bruv. A woman without makeup is a woman without a face. Who knew that when we were cleansing, 
we were erasing our whole existence. Round three. Dyke. You are a trespasser in your own body. The landowners are men who walk past you in the street. You are 13 when a man pulls you over the back seat of a bus and stubs his kiss out on your cheek. Slowly a boxer's embrace, but he doesn't throw the punch, he posts it. You wait by letterboxes flinch when it chatters Never answer the phone. In Brixton, men hold their fists like babies and watch as you walk past as though they are thin, ribbed cats in the undergrowth and you, a small, shaven-headed bird. There's a reason that women are compared to birds and it's got fuck all to do with wings. Some songs harden on the wind. Some girls are kept in gilded cages on suburban mantle pieces. You are 23 when you finish rehearsals in the city with nowhere to sleep. And the posh kids wish you good night. And you walk and you walk and you walk and you walk and he finds you quickly and your first class degree won't save you and when you come round you are empty and his eyes are full and above you twin gods this is the first time you think you're going to be killed and when you are not it's a disappointment the morning after pill is our communion wafer and you are forgiven your trespasses. You learn quickly. Men are broken things, breaking things. Round four. The first time you die, you drink a bottle of cleaning fluid and even the nurses wrap you in white swaddling curses. Fuck you. They whisper a back alley lullaby, fuck you. They croon as you're interred into your hospital bed. And when the mourners come, they seem happy. And you, you are still dirty. The third time you die, it is classic, cinematic, a bottle of your mother's sleeping pills. You swallow them without water, watching a film about a girl who is not loved. The film ends and the cinema empties and no one notices the thin thing lying there with a mouth like an earthquake in a country no one can spell. They don't find you till morning and when they do, you are packed off to the high priests of psychiatry to apologize. You lie and your smile is a torn cunt, a split. Round by. Each night we have a lock-in, a meet at the back of my heart, smoking in circles, passing grins between us like past the parcel, opening each layer of the smile until the pith is revealed. We are ferocious women, eating our children, our youth, stepping out of our skins and leaving them draped behind us like soiled wedding dresses as we fall into each other's mouths. This is love, furious love. We die slowly, cigarettes stubbed against obsidian skies. Our brain explodes into night butterflies. A car loses its grip on reality, suicides by the bouquet full. Not one of my friends was allowed to live in her body unaccompanied. Always a landlord, always a lodger. Round seven. In sleep, my body is a haunted house. There are footsteps along fallopian corridors. The corridor is a rope 
strung across a mouse I have been woken by blurred voices without bodies quiet arguments in my basement once I was possessed by a small girl who looked the same as me who self-murdered on a Sunday afternoon while her parents were downstairs hardwiring their hangovers and Chris as tunes played in nooses, my heart is a church bell and no visits. And God is a man with his hands in his pockets watching. Round eight. Oh, you bayonet boys, you truncheon rub. My face doesn't fit my face, but your fist does. Years from now, no one will remember how we fought, how each bruised knuckle was a white boy's head bent in prayer. No one will remember the love, how alike it is to rage, how screams made corporeal are rainbows, or how rainbows became corporate logos, or how we carved our epitaphs into a stone wall. No one will remember unpicking acronyms by candlelight. Oh, fuck it. I'll be in the back bar of heaven. Cass will be getting a rounding and releasing that laugh. Wild birds escaping her mouth and none of this will matter. I'll be stretching the skins with Sam Sylvan I'll be riding the ghost roads with Abby, bare back and knee clench on her Harley. I'll be scuffing the city with Dudzilly. Men will stare like open shaft mines. I'll be walking the white lines with tongue, tight mouth, antelope heart. Oh, can't remember the names of all my dead friends. But they're here now. Our grief, a leather jacket. Our laughter, static. As we fade to a sepia, the colour of blood mixed to water, disappearing down a plug hole, much like the meeting of our legs. Remember this. My whole fucking life is a protest. Thank you.